Hey, what's going on, Geminis? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one-week read. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And we are going to be using the Incromancy Tarot. Uh, one of my top five for sure. Uh, I know they only made a thousand... You know, it, it's a limited edition deck, but if you can get your hands on one, I, you know, I really highly recommend it. Um, it's very unique, like I said. Uh, I, I know I've used this before, but anybody that hasn't seen it, uh, every card is is completely different. It, it, each card was made by a different tattoo artist. So, very cool. <laughs> With that being said, let's get it. Universe. All right, Gemini's. So the the first first thing that I really see with this read is I feel like this is someone that you have a history with. I feel like this is someone that you already know, and I feel like with this person, I I I feel like there's a very guarded energy around this person, very defensive. You know, we got that. Nine of Wands, a defensive energy, you know, defending themselves and, and that eight of, eight of Swords, that self-imposed prison, I like to call it, you know, whereas they lock themselves away. You know, they have the key in their pocket and they come out anytime they want, but like I said, it's... I feel like you're dealing with someone that's not accustomed to emotional connections. You know, it, it, you know, I, I, I feel like they're not used to having these type of feelings. And instead of sharing them, I feel like that's when they resort back to that self-imposed prison. You know, and I also feel like this person has a hard time reading you. It's almost like the fact that they can't read you puts them further in that, in that prison. You know, a lot of sleepless nights on this person, a lot of anxiety. I feel like this person does deal with anxiety. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with the fact that they want something more from you. They feel something very deep. And I feel like a lot of this is going to shock you. Like I said, I feel like they feel distant. They feel um, like they're holding back. And they are. You know, we have the Seven of Swords. They are hiding something from you. But what they're hiding from you, like I said, will shock you because I, I feel like, you know, the connection you feel with this person, they feel it the same as you do. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like all this information is going to come off quite shocking because of the fact, because of the way they act, because of the way it comes off when you're around them. You know, they feel like they don't care. And there may be even points when you feel like they don't care, but we did that really quickly. Uh, we have the lover's card. You know, that's a deep connection on both sides. And I feel like with you, it's hard for you to commit. It's hard for you to acknowledge how you feel to them because they're holding, you know, they're holding their feelings back. You know, I feel like you're both kind of in the same boat, but I feel like it was started by them. You know, I feel like there's there's more that needs to be said here, but... It's almost like because they're not saying it, you're not saying it. You know, you feel this distance becoming greater with this person. You know, I, I just feel like 
like I said, they can't, they, ha they have a hard time reading you. And, and because they can't read you, it's almost like, it just reminds me of that very, and not to, not, not to, for all you cross watchers, not to down you. Uh, it's a very immature emotional energy. And like I said, I feel like this person hasn't really experienced a whole lot of emotional connection with anyone. And I feel like this has really caught them off guard. Now, when we don't have a lot of emotional history, we'll call it, it makes us m immature in that sense. It's almost like when you're young and you don't, you know, you don't know a lot of things. Well, so it, that's your immaturity. But when it comes to emotional immaturity, it's like, You've never really experienced this type of connection. So knowing the next step can be hard. And that's where this person's at. They don't they didn't know the next step. They didn't know what to do with their feelings. They didn't know how much to show you. But they know what they want. You know, I, I feel like when you're together, I feel like that's when you feel the most wanted. You know, there's a strong physical connection, but there's also that light energy. I feel like you just feel like you could be yourself with this person. You know, and I feel like that's where it gets confusing and why they, why they don't feel like they can be comfortable with you. They are comfortable. They just, they're taking their time with it. It's not something that they were expecting. You know, I feel like you have, you know, they, this person, they make you laugh. You know, they get you. You know, I, I like to I like to call it, you know, when you get with someone that understands your weirdness. And I feel like this person does. And that you understand them. But, except for this part, where that's where it gets confusing. And that's why it will shock you when, when you really, you know, when this person comes forward. Because I feel like they are going to come forward. I do see that communication opening up you know when we also have that moon card i feel like they're finally facing their fear i mean they know what they want from you they're just not exactly sure what you want from them because like i said they're having a hard time reading you but i feel like once that communication comes you know you're gonna see a big change in this person you know you're gonna see a lot of confidence and you're going to start getting what you've been waiting for. You know, with that Leo energy, that King of Wands, and that Three of Wands. I feel like you've been waiting for things to turn around. You're waiting for this person to be honest with you. And I feel like the more on, as they become more honest with you, as they become more open, that honesty will start flowing a little bit easier. Until it's just, you know, until that's all it is. You know, with that Queen of Swords. You know, sometimes it just takes people a little bit longer to to really open up. And I feel like this person, like I said, I feel like they never really had a lot of love in their life. So I feel like it's almost like it's been buried deep in them. So it's going to take a little bit longer to come out, but it is coming out. And like I said, I, I do see once they start opening up, I do see this moving quite quickly. You know, and I see a, a huge transformation in this person. You know, once you get this person's trust, you have it. You know, once this person can be open with you, they'll always be open with you. I just feel like this part of them was it has been buried. You know, and this person, they're, they're doing a lot of work. They want to be happy. At the end of the day, you make them happy. They're putting in the work and that... That's what you're going to see moving forward. You know, this person has, you know, that unconditional love for you. It's just, I feel like where they couldn't read you and it's new. I mean, it, it's a lot of, it's a lot of uncertainty. And that's why, like with the moon card, this person's finally facing their fears. They're facing the uncertainty because they know what they want. You know, like I said, it's a, it's an emotional immaturity and it's not because I'm not saying this person's immature. I'm just saying when it comes to the emotional side of them, they're not, you know, some people are overly emotional. You know, some people are moderately emotional. This person just hasn't had the opportunity to be open with their emotions. 
And I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that once this person comes forward that they're going to be a super emotional person. That's not what I see with this, but when they feel comfortable sharing their emotions, it will come out a lot more liberal. You know, they won't hide how they feel. They'll feel comfortable in their own skin. You know, and I do see them making you that offer. And I, like I said, I feel like it will shock you when this all comes out because I feel like it, it almost felt like it was going the other way. It felt like they were pushing you away, but that's not the case. I feel like they just didn't know what to do with the feelings that they had. And, and like I said, it, there's a huge transformation coming in this person because once they start to share... Once they start to become more and more comfortable, once they gain, you know, once, once they have that trust built, you know, this is someone that's very loyal. They will give you all of them. They just have to know it's okay. And I feel like that's what's keeping this person back. You know, like I said, I, I don't see a whole, I, I don't feel like this person has ever really, it, it's almost like having a bike, but never using it. That emotional side is just that bike that they've been, you know, it's in in their garage and they just never really used it. But, you know, and it may seem simple to some people. It's a bike. It's easy to ride. But people that haven't done it, it can be a little bit scary. <laughs> I don't know if that's a terrible uh, metaphor or not. But, you know, it, once, you know, it, it's like we all remember when we started riding a bike, you know, and or driving our first car, or anything like that. You know, the first time is always scary, but once we do it and realize that there's not really that much to be afraid of, it becomes a lot easier. But with this person, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo, Sagittarius. We have some Aries as well. Some Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I do get some... I do get some Taurus in there as well. Like I said, I, how you're feeling now is going to change, you know, because I feel like when you, we don't have all the information, we can't really make a conscious decision. And I feel like there's a lot of back and forth within you because you don't know what you're getting from this person. You don't know what you're waiting for. And I feel like a lot of those answers are going to be you know, a lot of those questions are going to be answered. You know, some people, you know, I hate to use the word emotionally immature, but that's just a word that kind of describes someone that never really, never really matured emotionally because they never really had the chance to show that side of them. And it is going to be hard for you to commit to someone that hasn't been showing you that. But like I said, things are changing. And I feel like there's, there's huge changes coming with this person. And I feel like that opening up communication with you, I feel like it's really gonna, is really gonna make things a lot better. You know, I feel like that's what we've been missing with Gemini's are the communicators. So if somebody's not communicating with you and we're not getting all the information, it, it can be very confusing and, and frustrating as well. But that's what I have for you. Be good, take care, stay safe.